So I got three people, three people with big dangalangs right now in my neighborhood that think they can send us to jail for 60 days for parking in the street. Really? That was a little, that was a little unnecessary. I don't really know where to start with this. I feel like Dalton right now. Dalton, I hope you're watching this because I feel like you right now. I feel like D. Birch. And if you guys don't know who Dalton is, Dalton has issues with his HOA and his neighborhood security religiously. I mean, that is the bane of his existence, it seems like, on YouTube. You guys can tell by the thumbnail. I got a letter from my HOA a couple days ago. And if you guys can tell by the title, no, this is not clickbait. But there are some pretty, pretty crazy things in this letter, and we're gonna go through the letter with you guys today. I hope you guys are excited. This, I, don't, I just gotta read it to you. I mean, there's there's no way to explain this. I'm gonna go outside and explain a couple of things as well, just to give you guys a little idea of why they might have sent this. But stay tuned. This is ridiculous. So I'm sure most of you guys know I moved into a new house a couple months ago. We. Everything's been going good. There's no issues. Obviously, my driveway's not huge. You know, there's a, a couple pros and cons to every situation that you're in. Um, I want a disclaimer. Nothing bad has happened to me. No fines have been issued. Nothing, no legal actions, nothing. There's nothing like bad going on. This is more of a funny reaction video th than anything. And I just want to make sure you guys know that right away. Nothing bad has happened for my mom or, or granddad that's watching this. Nothing bad's happened. We're going to make sure to not cross any of these lines so nothing bad happens. But I got a letter from our HOA. HOA news, it's a newsletter. And so it's not a letter directed right at us. It's They didn't come stamp on our door a letter saying, hey, this is what you did wrong. You need to fix this. That's not what they did. So I'm going to read through a little bit of this letter. I'm not going to name any names or anything that's in the letter, but I want you guys to see some of the things that we have to deal with now after moving into this new house that we're in. So um, I'm going to start the letter off. I'm not going to read the whole thing because that's going to get boring and I will run outside and explain a couple things as we're going through. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Welcome. On behalf of the board of all of the blah, blah, blah homeowners, we would like to welcome and congratulate you on your new home. We look forward to meeting you. You're encouraged to become active in the Homeowners Association. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate the invite. Um, I'll let my people get in touch with your people. As soon as I start the letter, my camera's about to die. Hold on. One, just give me one second. A few moments later. Okay. So on behalf of the board, blah, 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 welcome to the neighborhood. The first paragraph on here kind of states that they need there's 80 homes in the neighborhood and there's only three members serving on the board for the homeowners association so if any of you viewers at home are watching and want to join the homeowners association board in my neighborhood give contact them and let them know they're looking for volunteers there's three of 80 people that they're wanting so make sure uh, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe button if you want to join the homeowners association board and help keep the neighborhood safe so one of the things that they talk about in here is we received several complaints of persons speeding coming into and leaving the subdivi ah, subdivision. Please observe the posted legal speed limit sign of 25 miles an hour. Obviously, my truck is a dump truck. I'm not speeding, so that's not towards me. There are some people that speed, and my house is literally the first one. So if I'm speeding over 25 miles an hour in a you know 30-yard space, I'm an idiot. Anyway, so, um, and then the second part of that little paragraph is the police will be riding in the subdivision observing the no parking signs and where cars are being parked. Some cars are not parking on the street and not in their driveways. Do I look like I can fit in my driveway? Do I really, really? I'm going to show you guys. Just get, give me a minute. We'll get there. So this is like a, a whole like two page thing that they sent to, like look at this crap it's ridiculous okay so that's like the first little two paragraphs then it has some about rental properties which you know doesn't matter to us we're not renting out any properties I don't own anything so um, I don't own any properties that I'm renting out this is what I'm saying um, violation notifications involve three steps here we go okay so if you if if you let's let, let's we'll come back to that so uh, garbage cans um, have really gotten out of hand garbage cans should be put on the night 
before pickup removed from the street. This is not acceptable. Fines and force some of the cans or just blah, 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 whatever. So don't leave your trash can on the street. I, I can understand that. The street's not a huge street. And then let's see, page number two. No park, okay, this, so this is, this is the part that just, that blows my mind. So, people in this neighborhood, they rent properties or they buy properties. They literally have bought their house, it's their house. They own the property. In bold letters, no parking on grass or sidewalk at any time. This is a violation of the blank blank homeowners association and code enforcement. You as the homeowner will be fined or as a tenant, your landlord will be fined and taken to court by code enforcement. What the hell? I can't can't even park in my own grass. Do you know how big my truck is? They don't call me that wide bow tie for nothing. And I barely fit in my own freaking driveway. My the front of my truck sticks into the, the sidewalk a little bit. What the hell am I supposed to do? You know who I am? This is ridiculous. All mailboxes should be the same. If you don't have one, you have to purchase it from a specific place. There are people in the neighborhood walking their dogs, allowing their dogs to shit in people's yards. Please do not allow your dog to do this. Please get it up. That's pretty much what it's saying. So, um, that, and all of that is normal HOA. I think some of it's ridiculous, but we're, we're getting to the best part here, okay? We're getting to the best part, I promise. So, violation notifications involve three steps. So, if you park in your driveway, you park on the curb, you park in the street, you park in your grass, you park in your driveway, you park in your house, you park in your garage, anywhere you want to park, you know, it violates the this, violates this. And these are the three steps. So, you get a letter stating violation. I don't believe this is, I don't know if anybody else got this. Maybe it was just, just us. Um, I'll assume this is the first warning, maybe. Um, but warning number one, you get a letter stating the violation. I'm assuming that's not it because this is just an outline. So um, step number two, you get a warning letter. So once they tell you, hey, you did this, then you get another one saying, hey, you did it again. You better stop. Um, the third one, the third step is fine for lack of compliance is $100 for the first day, then $25 per day until the homeowner is compliant. Stupid, but I understand. I mean, it's okay, whatever. That's still not the worst part though, which is, Amazing, that's amazing. So, I mean, it's it's understandable. I'm sure they have some issues with, with some people. Um, then it goes down to say, Happy New Year. These are the, the Christmas contest winners, blah, blah, blah. And then we get down to the bottom here. Let me, hold on one second. We, we, get, down, we get down to the bottom here. You guys read that? It's big, big, bold letters. Big, bold letters. Warning regarding no parking signs. I mean, they went up a letter size to put this in here. Beginning this year, so, Eight days ago, nine days ago, whatever date it is, beginning this year, the police, so if, if you guys don't know, we have no parking signs. Now, they state in here, don't park on the street, don't park on the curb, sidewalk, grass, all that stuff. That's They state that. But the city itself has come and put no parking signs along the entrance to the neighborhood. There's one literally right in front of my house and 20 yards down from my house. They're, they're literally right in front. Of, so obviously, I can't park in the street. If I park in the street, this applies to me. The, the funny part, before I get into this, is if you guys remember, and I'll show you a little clip, if you guys remember when my brakes went out two weeks ago, I left my truck on the curb, in the street, on the sidewalk, and the grass all at the same time for two days over the weekend when my brakes went out, because I didn't want to try and put it in the driveway. So I, I left it in the street to just leave it. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip of that right now. So we had figured out that, oh, you can't see it right there. So we get to the gas station and I and he looks underneath and my freaking brake caliper is off the truck. So you guys can see <laughs> I left my truck over the weekend sitting on the curb, in the street, in the grass, in the sidewalk, not in my driveway. And I didn't well, I didn't know. I didn't know at the time. So I know now, but we're we're getting to it. Here's the best part. So beginning this year, the police will be writing citations, also towing cars, fines will be one thousand dollars and sixty days in jail. What the? What? Are you serious? It's oh my goodness. I, I, I you cannot make this up. You can't make this up. Can y'all see that? Fines will be one thousand dollars. Thousand dollars and sixty days in jail for parking on the in street. Are you serious? We've had persons that have already gone to court about this. They ain't playing no games. They ain't playing no games. Thousand dollars and sixty days in jail for parking on the street. If there are too many cars and people living in homes in the community, please call code enforcement. So there's there's a there's a hotline for you to snitch on people as well. 
If you would like to put something in the next newsletter, please send to blah, 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 yahoo.com. Thank you, HOA board. So first of all, I would like to say this is, this is, whoa. This, this went from like, like zero to a hundred, back to zero to a hundred, and then, hey, if you want to snitch on somebody, here's the letter. Thanks, have a great day. That's how this letter just went. I feel like Dalton right now. Well, I don't feel like Dalton yet because nobody's come to my door. I, I did actually just notice that there's nothing in there about having two loud trucks in your possession. I mean, I guess the noise can be a complaint and they can complain about that. There's a snitch hotline on here. Freaking stupid. But I thought you guys would like to know uh, some of the requirements of the HOA that we have in our, in our neighborhood right now. Wow. Thousand dollars and sixty days in jail. You really can't make this stuff up. It literally says it right here in bold. Fines will be a thousand and sixty days in jail. We've had persons that have already gone to court about this. So I got three people, three people with big dangalangs right now in my neighborhood that think they can send us to jail for sixty days for parking in the street. Parking in the street. I'm just. Uh, I mean. I, should I park in the street? Call the bluff? <laughs> Call the bluff? Should I do it? I'm not gonna do it. No, I don't I don't have a thousand dollars that I want to give somebody for parking in the street. Gosh. The the thousand the, the thousand dollars is blows my mind, first of all, but 60 days in jail. You go to jail for parking in front of your house. Go to, to jail. Go to jail for parking in front of your house. Absolutely mind blown. Mind blown. Before we end the video off, I want you to read out loud. Out loud. Okay. So, I mean, I, I went over the, in the video. It's a normal HOA letter. It talks about can't park on the grass. You can't do this kind of stuff. But there's one thing at the end that just tips us way over the edge that I want you to read. So, okay. there's, there's, out. it's on the skim through that real quick. But I want you to read. It's on the on the second page, on the bottom in bold. I want you to read that out loud and. and and, and tell me what you think. Warning regarding no parking signs. Beginning this year, the police will be writing citations, also towing cars. Fines will be $1,000 and 60 days in jail. We've had persons that have already gone to court about this. If there are too many cars like and people a, living in homes. $1,000 and, and 60 days in jail for parking in the street. Of your own place. Of my own place, exactly. Damn. In front of my house, there's no, there's no parking signs. And you can't park in between oh, the signs. Oh my God. And there's a sign on each side of the street in front of my house. Wow. Thousand dollars and 60 days in jail for parking on the street. And where is this at? Why so, is that so serious? Pretty much, we're not moving there. They lost a person from moving in anywhere in that general area. <laughs> like, holy shit. Thousand dollars. The the thousand dollars was okay. I can I can understand that. But sixty days. In sixty jail. days in jail. Yeah. <laughs> that was just I couldn't I I. That's just like mind blowing. I literally <laughs> could not even when she read that to me when we first got it a couple days ago. I had to I had to go back and like read it because I I thought she was lying. I thought yeah. Christina was lying. Like, did you type this? <laughs> and I I went back and reread it and I'm like it really says that That's sixty days in jail. Yeah. Dude, like, Gosh. Yeah. So I, I wanted I wanted to get a reaction from them. <laughs> well, uh, I wanted to get a reaction from them, shot. just so you guys know that I wasn't joking and that that was real. So that's like... definitely not something that I wrote. So all I can say, thank you guys for watching. Wish me luck, because I am definitely gonna need it. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get this bread. Get the spread. They're gonna focus on me, is it? <laughs>